Hello my friend, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a grocery haul and meal plan. Um, I just brought everything in for a Walmart delivery. I put it on my counter and on my floor. So what I'm gonna do in this video is share with you my meal plan first and then I will show you the groceries. I just feel like it makes more sense this way to show you what I'm making for dinner first. So tonight for dinner, I'm making bean soup and cornbread. I have a frozen ham bone and some ham in my freezer. So I'm gonna make that in the crock pot. So I gotta get that put in there pretty soon. Um, then I'm going to be making poor man's lasagna. Um, we're going to have queso, salsa, chicken, and rice. I found the recipe on TikTok. It looks really good, so we're going to try it out. I'm going to be making hamburgers and french fries. Um, and then fajitas and Mexican rice. And then I'm also going to be making spaghetti and meatballs with garlic bread. So that is a meal plan for this week. Um, I spent roughly $170 on groceries this week. Um, we needed pretty much everything. We needed produce, dinner things, lunch things, so that's why it was so much. Typically, I try to do like a dinner item grocery haul and then like a snack and produce grocery haul, and that's sort of like how I like manage how much I spend each week, but we were literally out of everything. So what I'm gonna do is put everything that I got out on the counters, and then I'm gonna show you what I got. Okay, so over here I have three bell peppers um, for the fajitas. I have a red and two green. I got a bag of onions. I actually needed three onions for this week and getting a bag of onions was cheaper. So I just got a whole bag. I got a family size bag of M&Ms. I got, I think this is a three pound, yeah, three pound thing of ground beef. We're gonna be making hamburgers out of this. Two things of tortilla chips. This is for both Mexican nights. Um, back here, Got some Spanish rice for that casserole, some uh, Ritz Bits cheese crackers. My daughter loves those. Some teriyaki sauce, some waffle cut fries, some meatballs. I got uh, just a one pound thing of ground beef, 93.7. Um, for spaghetti, I believe. It's for one of the recipes. I can't remember which one, but we need this for a recipe. Um, I'm gonna use the one up in my freezer and this is the one that's gonna be like replacing it. <clears throat> Got a thing of hazelnut creamer. You guys know that my husband likes the hazelnut and I like the French vanilla. Um, they last just a while. And then we're gonna try out this cold foam International Delight creamer. It comes in like the can. Um, we've been really liking getting cold foam coffee is from like Dunkin' Donuts and things like that. So we're gonna try this out. Got two things of um, cornbread mix. I'm gonna make this tonight for dinner with the bean soup. Got two things of bags. I got the quart freezer bags and the gallon freezer bags. Um, 
I'll, my husband prefers to take these kind of bags for lunch because he says that they are more durable and his lunch doesn't like rip open. So got him, got those and then also got some freezer bags. Got a thing of mozzarella cheese for one of the recipes and a thing of mild cheddar. I have some mild cheddar on hand, but this is on sale. So if I don't use it, I can always throw it in the freezer and freeze it. Got some ham. I used, lately I've been getting turkey, but to switch it up, I decided to get some deli ham. White corn tortillas for fajitas. Taco packet for the queso salsa chicken um, recipe. Chicken broth for that recipe as well. Got some sour cream for fajitas and the casserole, the Mexican casserole. Got two things of cookie dough um, to make some cookies. I got two things of grapes. I had hoped these grapes would be a little bit more full, <clears throat> but regardless, my kids will eat them. This one is like half a bag, not even. I got some mascara for myself, the Lash Paradise. Um, I haven't used this one in a while and my mascara is pretty much dried out, so I got some more of that. Great Norther Beans for tonight for dinner. Got some Velveeta, um, it's like queso. Don't mind my dishes. I got four pounds of strawberries. These look delicious. So I got some for my kids. Believe it or not, these won't last very long in my house. I got a gallon of milk for here. Um, I got a big, my camera will focus. I got a big thing of chicken. Um, this will last us two recipes this week because I need chicken for two different recipes. Um, so actually it might last us more. There's a lot of chicken in here potentially. So I'm going to split that up into two different meals. We got a thing of honey crisp apples, some hamburger buns, the cinnamon swirl bread. My husband got this during the weekend last weekend and it's really good. My kids love it. So I figured as a treat, I'll get them some. And then I also just got some white bread for sandwiches. Lastly down here, I just got a thing of water. Before I put these in the freezer, I want to show you how I split up a big pack of chicken. Typically, if um, it's going to be in the freezer for a while, whenever I buy like steaks or ground beef in bulk, I will vacuum seal it. But if I'm going to be using it within a week, um, I just 
put them in freezer bags. So what I did was for the queso salsa chicken recipe, I did three chicken breasts because it doesn't call for as much chicken. Um, and then for fajitas, I did four chicken breasts um, because you know you need a little bit more chicken for that recipe. So I'm just going to put these in my freezer and then pull them out to thaw whenever we need them. Mm -hmm. 